it's been a while and what a while it's been there has been a ton of things that have happened and i don't want to turn this into a life update video but for those of you who do care i've had another baby meaning that i've had another little boy i'm sure some of you have seen the post then another thing that's happened is um i've been traveling a heck of a lot more march was crazy march was one of the busiest months i've had in a long time i had over 12 site visits 10 to 12 site visits meaning that i was out of town for about 10 or 12 days in the month which is quite a lot and um, some of these sites are quite far i mean i'm talking as high as scotland uh, and glasgow and edinburgh and as low as plymouth uh, for those of you who know the geography of the uk you know that that's quite a far meaning that i've had very little time for content creation until now but one of the other things that's happened is uh, my laptop broke so now i've got it hooked up here i don't know if you guys can see it but it's there it's permanently there anything related to content creation and casual work or anything that's not kind of work work has been done there losing the pro xdr promotion display that that thing has um, is a bit of a bummer because i really did rely on that on a lot of my color grading and video editing and uh, that also means that i have nothing in terms of portability that's kind of an update on the last couple of months um, and it's been a stressful time not gonna lie but one good thing that has come out of that is that i got one of these one of these one of you can't actually see what's in the box because well i'm not showing you what's in the box so this is actually the macbook air m2 um, and i had to get one of these well i didn't have to get it but it would became necessary when my laptop broke and i just needed something light and portable that i could take with me wherever i went now this is something that i wanted to avoid mind you because the m1 pro is obviously much more powerful than this even at max kind of configuration the m1 pro base model is much more powerful and mine was slightly higher configuration model and that was doing everything perfectly for me i had no hitches with editing so having to kind of essentially downgrade while i'm on the move is a bit of a bummer and i also wanted to avoid buying a new device because i just wanted that to be my b1 and all for everything that i do uh, but alas since the screen is completely gone blank meaning that it doesn't work the rest of the machine works perfectly fine so it's just become a desktop now so without further ado let's unbox this thing let's have a look because i got the i got the midnight model it looks really nice so this is the m2 macbook air i needed something light and portable just to take with me and do whatever i did on the go and then all of my heavy duty editing and stuff can still be done on my macbook pro so i'm gonna just open this up and then open that up and there is the box so i'm just gonna get rid of that there and here we go this is oh, the uh what the box looks like i did get the midnight color because I, I really like that kind of black blue kind of thing that i had going i'm kind of bored with apple's usual grays and silvers and pinks and golds that they have so this was kind of a refreshing color that i saw it's really attractive looking and even when i was in the apple store and i was fiddling around with it it looked kind of nice so i need to open this up and i'm going to just kind of ignore the mess in my drawer guys i'm gonna just pull this up and the mess behind me i've been working and you know life so i'm just gonna very carefully open that up very carefully up there right there that should be good so we tuck that away when you have a house filled with two boys even though one of them isn't actually walking around yet because he's only about three months old um it's dangerous to keep sharp objects around um open that pop that aside now so now let's there we go pop that aside pop that aside and this is oh it's very nice it's very thin looking so firstly i'm going to pop that aside let's see what we've got in the box in the box it comes with the dual charger so i'm just gonna do that so it comes with the dual usb i think it's the 35 watt charger let's have a look i think this is the 35 watt yep it is the 35 watt dual usb-c charger which i don't know whether i'll ever kind of 
use this on the go i might just kind of keep this plugged in somewhere that that it's useful around the house because on the go i'm probably going to use the u green kind of bulky big charger that i have that has multiple ports in it anyway and that's like a 100 watt charger or something 120 watt charger i don't know so that's probably a lot more useful to carry around this kind of big and bulky i don't want this in my bag so there's that and it comes with of course the magsafe cable for this and it's in that nice midnight color that um it's in the nice midnight colors move all of this obviously comes with the paperwork and the stickers and everything so it comes in this little nice so the, the cable comes in that midnight color which is something i liked they didn't keep the cables white um because always get dirty and it's, it's kind of ugly so this might be something nice to keep around even though i've got a spare magsafe charger uh, cable that I keep in my bag anyway. Um, most of the time when I'm out and about, I do tend to use the USB-C connectivity a lot more, but given the fact that this doesn't have as much connectivity options, and I knew that when buying it, because obviously it's a MacBook Air model, it doesn't have as much connectivity options as the Pro does. It doesn't have a HDMI port, it doesn't have uh, an SD card port. It just has the two USB-C Thunderbolt ports and the, I think, I think it has a headphone jack. It does have a headphone jack. It has a headphone jack and it has um, the MagSafe port. So in terms of connectivity, it's not as amazing, which is why maybe carrying this around will be useful. Um, I might carry this one around and swap it for the one that I have because it looks nicer. Uh, and then uh, keep the other one spare somewhere around again, like hooked up to this somewhere, um, but might be useful around the house. I mean, I don't really sit anywhere apart from the living room, um, kitchen counter and here. So uh, I don't know where I put it, but maybe it has a space somewhere in the house. And then uh, just carry that around because with this thing, I'm going to probably need to use dongles to attach my uh, external hard drives or you know, additional things onto such as SD card. I'm definitely going to need the SD card dongle and all of that, which I have, but it's just having to use it. So I'm going to pop this box back and we are going to have a look at this. Now, popping those aside, um, I don't exactly know which way this is going to open up. I think, I, don't, I won't open it the right way. So I think if I open it here, aha, so, wow, this actually, the finish on this is really nice. I've already got like smudges on it from me touching it with my grubby hands. Ooh, ooh, pop that aside as well. I'm going to have to put that all away nicely later. Oh, okay. I don't think there is enough light to show you justifiably how nice this is. So give me a second. Yeah, I have made the room brighter because I, I think the, the the second view that I've got, this top down view that I've got, um, it is going to look nice. I will try and pull the shadows up a little bit just, just to make the colors pop. But wow, this is actually, I like how nice and thin and sleek this is. This is actually really nice looking. I had the M1 base model MacBook Air before, if you guys remember. And that was nice. That was nice and thin and light as well. I really liked it. And I had a Mac mini and I used to use them in conjunction with one another. But editing on the M1 Mac was not as efficient, especially when you're kind of doing 4K footage and having to do a lot of work professionally. The 256 hard drive space was just not enough, even with kind of having external hard drives and SSDs. It, you want to have a little bit more storage space and it just it just wasn't powerful enough. And I was struggling doing my editing while I was on the go. So I decided to scrap both of those sold them both, replaced them with the M1 MacBook Pro, uh, M1 Pro model, so M1 Pro MacBook Pro model at the 14 inch one. And that was doing my everything for me until I dropped it out of my bag somehow. I don't know, it slipped out of my bag. It slipped out of my bag. Can you imagine that? I forgot to zip my bag up and it slipped and it broke and the corner kind of went all weird. And, and then I didn't realize until like a day after that the screen had actually also smashed. Uh, not smashed, but cracked from the corner. And then eventually that kind of spread and that's it. screen is now gone. After about six months, it died. So good that it lasted that long. So, so this is the M2 MacBook Air in midnight. It has, as you can see on the side, it has the MagSafe charger and then the two USB-C uh, Thunderbolt chargers, uh, Thunderbolt 4 ports. And then it's got a headphone jack on the side, which I find still intriguing that Apple, despite getting rid of all of their kind of wired headphones <laughs> on all of their devices or most of their devices they still keep it on the mac which i guess is nice and handy especially if you want to do you know sound editing and you want that additional port because wireless sound can sometimes be laggy sometimes sometimes depending on your devices um, and having the wired connection is nicer 
As always, Apple's designs are really sleek, and, and this time they've actually opted for the more squarish design. Like the top of this MacBook Air is completely flat, and I think this is the first time ever that they've done that. It's usually got that little curve and it kind of pinches in at the bottom. Um, this time around, it is completely flat well not completely flat but it's, it's much more flat it has got the rounded edges but for the most part it's mimicking what the newer uh, what the new designed m1 pro model uh, m2 pro models macbook pros are doing the pro macbook pros are doing um so yes it is really nice so i'm gonna get this guy set up I, i'm gonna leave it here for this video guys because really i'm gonna get this set up and just kind of start using it and then i'll come with a little bit more feedback on what i think after using this for a couple of days uh, in comparison to using the m1 pro macbook pro 14 inch laptop um i want to see how this kind of performs uh how it does screen battery performance all of that i will give you a full extensive review when the time comes but for now i'm just going to get this guy set up and use it and see how it goes. So I'm gonna go now because I can hear my little guy crying. So that means that is dad duties coming. Um, if you guys wanna see more kind of tech reviews then hit one of the links up here. You know, if you wanna see my kind of substantial review on the M1 Pro MacBook Pro 14 inch model, that's a mouthful to say, uh, then definitely hit one of the links and uh, a review for this coming up soon. Until next time.